All right, guys, so as promised, I told you guys I was gonna do something a little special, a little different for you guys related to the shirt business, right? So you wanna step your game up next year and you wanna take your business to the next level. So you wanna make your merchandise a little, couple notches up from other people. So this is one of the things that you're gonna have to do. Remember in the video when I made these pants and I said I was gonna put a hem in the bottom of them because, you know, these are just some cut up, cut off gym shorts. And as you see, like the ends get frayed and stuff like that. And they have those little things and it's not very professional, right? So, <laughs> what you're gonna need guys, guys, You're gonna need to get yourself a sewing machine. If you wanna reach that next level, if you wanna step up your game, if you want your clothing to have a little bit better, you know, a little more customizable, you're gonna have to get a sewing machine, guys. This is, I'm just, this is the reality of it. You know, a lot of people aren't gonna do this, but I'm telling you what you need to do. I'm telling you what you need to do if you wanna take it to the next level. If you learn how to use this thing, you're gonna be able to add custom tags to your shirts. You're gonna be able to, you know, make cut off sweatpants like me or for yourself, for, for clients or for yourself. You're gonna be able to do things like cut off the sleeves off your shirt and make some type of, you know, some type of workout shirts or you know, tank tops and things like that. You're gonna be able to, um, you know, just do simple cuts like that and make like cut off tank tops for women and stuff like that just out of regular shirts. Out of, maybe you might have a shirt that gets a snag in at the bottom and you can do something just whoop, rip it up slant it this way and and put a hem hem in it and just make something different like that for women you know what i mean you can it's, the possibilities are endless when you know how to sew so i'm going to show you guys how to thread a sewing machine and i'm going to attempt i'm not really good at this and i'm going to attempt to put a hem in this and again i am not good at this so I don't know how it's going to turn out because I'm not really good at practice. I haven't practiced a lot. So we're going to try this together, guys. So here we go. So this right here is a Brother 2600i. I got it used online. Um, you can buy these things on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description, of course, like I always do. I think I bought mine for 40 bucks on OfferUp or LetGo, one of those sites. Or you can look in the Facebook Marketplace and see if anybody's selling a used one. But, um, yeah, they're pretty, pretty cheap. If you're buying it brand new, it's going to be a little bit more, maybe $100, $119. But you can find these used online. Just keep on checking offer up or let go or Facebook Marketplace or maybe even eBay and you can find one used. This is a specific, specific one that I'm using. It's already still talking funny because my, um, my, uh, Invisalign things, my Smile Direct Invisalign or liners are, um, in my mouth. So, um. Yeah, so let's uh, let me show you how to thread this thing up, guys. All right, guys. So this right here is an empty bobbin. It's a bobbin with no thread on it, and you're gonna have to get thread on there in order to sew because you're gonna need to put this in the base of the sewing machine. So I'm gonna show you. Start off by showing you how to thread a bobbin. It's really quite simple. Um, let me show you. All right, so I'm gonna try to like kind of skip around here. Um, this is a pressure foot. Your, your uh, sewing machine comes with a pressure foot, right? And this is the cord for the pressure foot or whatever. It has two ends. This is the end that goes on the ground that you press with your foot. And this is the end that plugs in right here. You're gonna wanna plug this in right here. That's step number one. And step number two is to give this other end some power by plugging it into a wall outlet. So I'm gonna plug this in. And I'm gonna put this underneath the table so I can step on it. All right, got access to my pressure foot down here. It's supposed to be like in front of your foot, so yeah, access to it. The harder you press on it, the faster the machine goes. You press on it slow, it goes slow. You press on it, the amount of pressure you put on it determines how fast or slow it goes. That's why it's called a pressure foot. Now we got our sewing machine all set up. It's plugged up, pressure foot's on the ground. Um, it's plugged into the wall. Flick this switch right here. It's an on off switch. Flick it. See the light turn on. Machine's on. All right. So now we're going to put the bobbin up top. Let me get a close up to you guys. All right. So this is the top of our sewing machine, right? And 
believe it or not, everything is illustrated on the top. Let me tilt the, ang the camera so you guys can see it. If you guys can see this illustration up here, right here, it shows exactly how you're supposed to do this. All right, so you're just gonna follow what it says on the illustration on how to align this up in order to um, to thread the bobbin. I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? All right, so make a mental note that this piece right here can go in and out, all right? So you put it out, put your bobbin in there. Boom, step number one. Step number two, you get your thread and you put your thread in there and you take your thread go over here to this part i'm just going to go around here right and you bring it back over and you put it inside the hole of your bobbin to do this part you could actually take your bobbin back off put the thread inside the little hole at the top pull it through and sit it back inside of the thing and now you could actually push this over right so now you just push your foot on the pressure foot and watch what happens I'm just gonna push my foot on the pressure foot see that I'm threading a bobbin and as I thread it this part right here gets thicker more and more thread is going onto that bobbin Okay guys, now that we have our bobbin threaded up and ready to go, this right here, and this, this preparation part right here is actually the hardest part of sewing, to be honest with you. So, yeah, just bear with me right here. Gotta sit our bobbin to the side right here. And if you look over here on this side of the machine, and you would see that you have a little thing right here. You just pull that back, and that releases this little thing right here. So you just pull it up and off. You get your bobbin, you drop your bobbin in here, and hook it on to this right here. Hey, making money is one thing, but nobody said it was going to be super, super easy. But after you do this a few times, it's not super, super hard, guys. You see what I just did right there. And I just took this thread right here, and I put it to the back right here. Boom. Next part. Next part, threading the machine. The top part right here. You just want to take this thread, and let me show you up top. Take this thread, put it in this little hook part right here. Little hook part right here. Just like the illustration shows. Bring it in here. I'm trying to focus, guys. Bring it in here. You can see that. Then bring it down. Before And before you um, do this other part right here, you want to actually turn this wheel on the side so that you actually see this hook the little hook in the middle right here there's a hook in the middle of the machine let me show you guys you guys see that little hook right there you want to make sure make sure it's up because when it's up you can hook it better all right yeah so you're grabbing your thread you're bringing your thread under right here over right here around into the hook and back down and it's hooked onto the hook right now it's crazy and down and this is the hard part guys the part where you go in with the thread into the needle with the thread all right so what i do is just wet it with my mouth right there the thread with my mouth and i just go in see how good i am at this you can use a magnifying glass because I'm through already. And grab the other end. Pull it through. Pull it nice and on through. Alright. And then you take your other hand on that wheel and you turn the wheel towards you. And what happens is that this thread is going to get intertwined with that thread. Ooh. All right, guys, so this is the hard part. Got everything ready, pressure foot is up, and it's really hard to work with material like this because 
it's just it's just hard to manipulate because you got all this going on but a word um i can i can leave a this uh product link in the description of this material that i advise you to use um or this product i advise you to use it's like a white strip tape i don't know the name of it offhand but you put it on the inside and you flip this over and you iron it on and it keeps this thing in place so you can either use that or you can take a needle and thread and you can thread it through loosely all the way across to keep this in but for the sake of the video I'm just gonna freestyle and I'm just gonna hold it in place now you want to be real careful with this and you want to take your time so I'm gonna take a little bit I think I want about this much about this much I'm gonna keep it thin I'm gonna put this right under here and I'm gonna hold it down like this I'm gonna take my other hand and I'm going to flip my flip the pressure foot down with my thumb like that. Now we're locked into place. And now I'm going to slowly press on the pressure foot. But before I do that, I'm gonna make sure I got a nice amount evenly distributed down the down the pant leg. You see what I'm doing right here? And I got a nice even amount right there. I'm gonna hold it with my other hand right here. And this other hand, I'm just kind of like guiding it along. You understand what I'm saying? So I got it held right here in the back, guiding it along with this hand, left to right, and then I'm gonna slowly press on a pressure foot. All right? I'm gonna slowly press on a pressure foot. And I'm guiding it along as I'm going. It takes a little while to get used to this, guys. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this is the first time I've used this machine in a long time first time i bought it i just practiced with it and i practiced eh, about a couple days you know so i'm not i'm not a sewing expert but we'll see how the stitch comes out all right got a little bit more the key is to go slow and take your time you know and when you get really good you'll be able to go faster i want to make sure all this other material is out of the way grab it like this and then you just Press your foot nice and slow. And when it's getting out of control, just let go of the pressure foot. Line yourself up for a little bit more. Same width. Same width. Try to get the same exact width to make it professional, nice and good. You got it some more. And repeat all the way around the pant leg repeat Let's see how this comes out I'm gonna do this whole thing on camera so you guys can see if a dub can do it I'm in the cameras man this is not my bag but I'm also into making money and if this is what it takes what it takes right so here we go I see it's starting to bunch up so I tip chill my stuff back together make sure it's nice and even on this side nice and even it's getting a little thick so I thin it out a little bit nice and easy we got it and it looks like my thread is about to come out looks like it looks like my thread came out but I'm gonna keep on going because I'm not positive if my thread came out but it looks like it just came out that happens sometimes and then you have to re-thread it and stuff like that but I'm just gonna keep on going guys cuz you know we're making progress here let me see still threading guys still going so I'm just gonna keep on going with it all right nice and easy make sure it's the same width same thickness going down Keep on going. I want to pull this up a little bit though. Something's happening here and I don't like what's happening. It's going to come undone. So, nice and easy. Keep it going around the whole leg. Around the whole leg. Alright. Nice and easy. We ain't making no prom dresses, guys. We making money over here. What we doing making money over here? Uh, 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 getting money, getting money. All right, so keep.
keep it going almost done all right letting that go down we're almost around guys got a few more meters to go as we would say on the track home stretch home stretch nice and easy stretch guys yep getting right down there to the to the last stretch trying to keep this neat trying to keep it consistent I'm trying to match it up right where I left off try to match it up right where I left off all right now I'm down where I started I go past that a little bit and there's a little, there's a little foot right here, guys. There's a little pedal right here on the side. You push this down and you press the pressure foot and it makes the machine go backwards. So I like to come forward a little bit, push this down and make the machine go backwards a little bit. And that kind of like, see, that kind of like locks in that thread. I did it a few times so you guys can see it. Now bring up the pressure foot, bring that out, cut this with your scissors, and we went around the whole pant leg, cut off all the loose thread, all the loose thread that we got around here, cut it off, and let's take a look at our stitch. All right, guys, I say we did a good job. We're not professionals here, but this is our stitch that we came out with. Boom, I'm not a sewing expert. Not a sewing expert, but looks pretty good to me. I can rock them at the gym. I can go on the inside and cut off this little access flap right here. And if I hang them down so you guys can see, boom, boom. This is what we created right here. Boom. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not perfect, not perfect, but it will get perfect with practice, guys. We will step up our game and practice. Like I said, I haven't used this sewing machine since I first got it and practiced like a year ago, guys. So uh, bear with me right here. But um, this is what we came up with, guys. Nice and easy. And you'd imagine, you can imagine, this is custom. You know what I mean? There's not no machine in the factory is doing this. This is hand stitched. And for me to give me my props. I know I'm gonna get bashed in the comment section by the professional sewers. Hey, you didn't do this right, you didn't do this right. Guess what? I'm just trying to make a couple dollars, trying to, you know, show people how to, you know, ideas of what they can do. And like I said, this is my second time. Um, actually, not my second time. Maybe all together, if I had to give it, give it a the count, this is probably like my seventh or eighth time sewing. And I think I did an okay job. So guys, it's your boy A-Dub, man. Let me know if you thought this was helpful. Something different, you know what I mean? Typically, you hear girls sew, but listen, it's, it's, it's 2018. It's time to put all that stuff in the, it, all those stuff, that stuff is myth, uh, myths. So um, guys, we gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta step up our game. If you wanna be a designer, then be a designer. Don't just design stuff and, and you know, heat transferred on the shirts. You gotta learn the elements in order to make custom stuff and take it up to the next level. You wanna be the next Louis Vuitton? You wanna be the next Gucci? Learn yourself how to sew. Make something different. Decorate that garment with some HTV. <laughs> you might be on to something. Learn how to, that easy. I'm into making videos. I was a track star growing up. You know, this, this, is, this is different, <laughs> so. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys think this is something that you could do. If you guys are having difficulty doing it. If you guys actually went ahead and did it. Guys and girls. But, you know, whatever. It's mostly guys that watch my video. But it's your boy, man. King Alan Alexander on all social medias. Alan Wade. Peace. Let me know if this is helpful. I'm out. Turn up that. Crank
it up Why listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby?